In this lesson, we'll take a look at three examples of solving rational equations, two in this page, one the next, and a couple of examples of solving rational inequalities. And the first one here asks to solve 10 over 2x minus 3 equals 2. Now we're going to rearrange this so that there's no longer a rational expression on either side. And so the only denominator here besides the 1 underneath the 2 is the 2x minus 3 here. So one thing we could do to both sides is multiply by 2x minus 3. So I could do this, 2x minus 3 multiplied on both sides. And the whole reason for doing that is so that this 2x minus 3 divides out with this 2x minus 3. And then we'll be left with 10 equals 2 times 2x minus 3. Now it doesn't matter whether the 10 is written on the right or the left side or the 2 times 2x minus 3. You can write them on either side there. Now some people will actually do this also. This is just a little slightly different procedure. Right, the 2 is 2 over 1. So if I'm cross multiplying, 2 times 2x minus 3, that product, would equal the product of the 10 and the 1, which of course is the 10 on the right side here. So either way, we end up with 2 times 2x minus 3 equals 10. Now, what I would do next is expand out this left side. So 2 times 2x minus 3 is 4x minus 6. Don't forget to multiply the 2 by that 3. And I'll add 6 to both sides. So now I would have 4x equals 16. And then dividing out the 4, 16 divided by 4 is 4. So x equals 4. Now in example 2, uh, I have two different denominator expressions here. And while they won't always factor and common factors divide out. You should always should try that. It'll make your equation simpler. So I'm going to factor both of the denominators. On the left here, the denominator, uh, we have a minus 2x and a minus 8. So look for numbers that add to negative 2 and multiply to negative 8. And those two numbers are positive 2 and negative 4. And so this x squared minus 2x minus 8 would factor into x plus 2 and x minus 4 x squared minus 4, that's the difference of two perfect squares. So that'll factor into x plus 2 times x minus 2. And so once again, um, notice we're going to multiply both sides by. Notice that there's an x plus 2 uh, factor in both denominators. And so those x plus 2's will divide out. And the reason they'll divide out is because if I multiply both sides by x plus 2 now, like let's pretend they were, they're not divided out yet, like this, x plus 2. Then actually what happens is that x plus 2 divides out with that one, and this x plus 2 on the right divides out with this one. Okay, so uh, we would just then have left uh, the x minus 5 or x minus 4 on the left, uh, equals 5x minus 1 over x minus 2 on the right. So, if we go back to this, so the x plus 2's are divided out. Now, there's still an x minus 4 here and an x minus 2 here. So again, like I did in the example above, I would still want to rearrange it so there's no rational expressions. So I'm going to multiply now by x minus 4 times x minus 2. Notice that's the two factors in the denominators, one on each side. So x minus 4, x minus 2. So on the left here, this x minus 4 divides into that one. And on the right side, this x minus 2 divides into that one. So what I'm left with now is 5x minus 1 times x minus 4 multiplied is equal to the product of x minus 2 and x minus 5. And it really doesn't matter that that was on the right and this is on the left now. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, you can write them on either side. And so I'll now ex ex uh, expand out each of the sides here. 5x minus 1 times x minus 4. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times negative 4, that's negative 20x. And this would be a negative 1x, and they add to negative 21x. And negative 1 times negative 4 is 4. On the right side, x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 would be negative 2x. So we have negative 2x, and this would be negative 5x to give us negative 7x. And negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. So now I would rearrange and set everything 
on one side equal to 0. So subtracting x squared from both sides, 5x squared minus 1x squared is 4x squared. Adding 7x to both sides, because I want a 0 on the right side here, adding 7x to both sides, negative 21x plus 7x is negative 14x. And then subtracting 10 from both sides, 4 minus 10 is negative 6. Now, we could try to factor this, but this actually doesn't factor. There are no numbers that add to negative 14 and multiply to negative 24. So, uh, I still may be able to solve this. And what, to make it a little simpler to solve, we can actually divide everything by 2, but there still are no numbers that add to negative 7 and multiply to negative 6. They don't exist. So, we would bring in the quadratic formula. And so, a is 2, b is negative 7, and the constant c is negative 3. So substituting those in our formula, we get this. So underneath the root sign, this would be 49. And notice we have minus 4 times, and there's also a negative 3 here. So we'll be adding 4 times 2 times 3. So 4 times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24. So 49 plus 24 underneath the radical adds to 73. So we have the solutions are 7 plus or minus the root of 73 over 4 in the denominator, 2 times 2 is the 4. In the last rational equations example, we have this expression here, and once again I want to get rid of the rational expressions. And I will do that by, now, x squared minus 5 and x minus 4 do not factor. Okay, so uh, we're not going to be able to um, divide out any common factors. So the, the two factors are x minus 4, and the x squared minus 5. So I'll multiply both sides by the product of those two factors. And so on the left, this x minus 4 divides into that one. And on the right side, this x squared minus 5 divides over that x squared minus 5. And so what we're left with then is x squared minus 5 times x plus 3, that, product is equal to the product of x minus 4 and 3x squared plus x minus 6. And so now the goal now will be to expand out everything on the left and the right side. So x times 3x squared is 3x cubed. x times x is x squared. x times the negative 6 is minus 6x. And then the negative 4 times each of these is negative 12x squared minus 4x plus 24. On the right side, x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 3 is 3x squared. Negative 5 times x is minus 5x. And negative 5 times 3 is minus 15. And then we'll rearrange, set everything equal to 0. So bring in, subtracting x cubed from both sides, 3x cubed minus 1x cubed would be 2x cubed. We've got an x squared here and a negative 12x squared. And then subtracting 3x squared gives us negative 14x squared together on the left. We've got some x terms, negative 6x and negative 4x is negative 10x. And when we add the 5x over here, so there's no x left on the right, we'll get negative 5x on the left. And adding 15 to both sides, we're left with then just 0 on the right. 24 plus 15 is 39. Now we're asked to solve this using technology. This does not factor, so we're just going to graph it. There's my graph, my graphing calculator image. And so I would trace in the graphing calculator image using the uh, zoom function or the root function to find that there's a root here at negative 1.65. There's one here about, at about 1.70. And there's a third one over here just below 7 at 6.96. So I would just use the graphing calculator to find those because this is not easily factorable at all. And so then I could state that my roots are approximately negative 1.65 and I guess I should really have an approximately sign here, not an equals. About negative 1.65, 1.70, and about 6.96. So those are my three solutions.